Welcome back to the Vienna Gymnasium. And today I would love to show you how to play the song that you have heard so many times, whether you grew up in Russia, whether you grew up in the United States or anywhere else. <laughs> particular I would love for you to start with both hands but with only finger number three one two three we will place third finger on F and we will place third finger on G Waltz or Sabachi Vals. And it's this cute story about the four puppies who wanted to dance so badly, but they're puppies. So they started to stumble over, trip over their own uh, paws and tails and fall off, but still laugh and have fun. When you play one note at a time, one, two, three, one, two, three, that's where you get your waltz uh, rhythm. turn it into chopsticks simply we just put those notes together and play like this Number three black keys then we will go with the left hand third finger down to E so we will go one note down but the right hand will stay here on G and then left hand will go down to D and right hand will skip a note. We will skip an A and we're going to B. And this is our C octave. That is if we are playing just the melody part. Now, what if we're a little more advanced and we want to use both hands? This is how it will sound like. For the left hand, you need to know two chords and I will show them to you. We find, this is our middle C, we find the C below. We're placing our fifth finger, one, two, three, four, five, on C. Then we're placing first finger on G. It's already there. If you're relaxed and your hands, your fingers are all on the white keys, your first finger is already on G. And then we will add the third finger, one, two, three, to the E. This is our C major chord that you can use in so many pieces. Stay focused on our dog's waltz or chopsticks. So we're using, this is the first chord. And the second chord, you can use those F and G that we're starting our right hand in your left hand. And you can be fancy and use it with just first finger. Grab the two notes, F and G. Or you can use second and first finger. Add V. to have the deep bass. Back to. So what am I doing? I took the C chord and I broke it into waltz pattern. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That is it. Let's see what we have at the end. Enjoy, have a great day, and I'm always open to questions or comments.